Hey everybody, welcome to Prittle Monday. Prittle Monday, where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. I want to welcome everybody here. Look, I've got all kinds of chat already. Evan Penn, Stark Willow, Silver Fox, Sassy. Welcome to Prittle Monday. Prittle Mondays are back for 2020. I have a little bit of a cold, but that's not going to stop me. We are here. What are, what are we here for? We're here to work on puzzles and riddles in order to get better at armchair treasure hunts. Uh, puzzles and riddles will help us with our vocabulary, our lateral thinking, our ability to think outside the box. Tony Rusi, Jimmy Fast. Jimmy Fast says cookies matter. Oh, I like that little, that's a different emoji. You found a black and white cookie emoji, Jimmy Fast. I like it. <laughs> <clears throat> And I've got a little bit of a cold. I'm going to try not to cough and, and sneeze too much. But one of the things I want to talk about today, and let me make sure you can see this. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Martin Smith is uh, someone who made a, an armchair treasure on a couple of years ago. It was called Seek and Ye Shall Find, Read and Seek Adventure. Um, Martin Smith made this armchair treasure hunt uh, because he was inspired by the Forrest Fenn treasure hunt. And he made a, a book with sort of some of his, an autobiography, and he wrote a poem in it too. And there was a treasure hunt. Uh, I don't think the treasure hunt was found by, by the time his deadline ended. But there was a, but there was a, a poem and everything. And he has a blog. His blog is readandseek.com I like to check it out every once in a while see what it, he comes up with some other treasure hunts too uh, readandseek.com and one of them he came up with starting in last November is an armchair treasure hunt that does have a boots on the ground portion uh, he calls it the, the GR Riddler uh, and GR stands for Grand Rapids so this is a treasure hunt if you're in the Grand Rapids Michigan area if you have a, a place, um, if you either live near Grand Rapids, Michigan, or you know somebody in Grand Rapids, Michigan, I recommend you check out this treasure hunt. Uh, it's And the reason I like this, I'm starting with this is because it's actually a riddle. Uh, the riddle is when you found this wonderful town, you'll need to go one by one. As the sun goes down, be among the first to keep your head up. That's it, okay? Um, the rules are it is one that has a boots on the ground portion. There's no cost to participate. It's free. So all you have to do is figure out this riddle. It's somewhere in the Grand Rapids, Michigan area. Uh, you do have to pick up a proxy item. The proxy item is a sort of a metal plate, uh, R S T H nailed into it. R -A R-S-T-H, uh, Read and Seek Treasure Hunt 20. Uh, he says it's about the same size as an index card, and there's something else about it, the proxy item, so pe people can't copy it. Uh, but all the rules are on his blog, readandseek.com. Um, in addition to that, that riddle that was given out, he gave out another riddle in December. And... That, that it was a clue, and it was don't feel like a nut, just go for a drive. That's it, okay? Uh, and it happens just today uh, because he's giving out one clue per month on the first Tuesday of every month. Uh, he just posted today that he will release a clue tomorrow, so there will be another clue tomorrow, and there will be one more in February, and if it's not found, the treasure hunt will be ending at the end of February. So... Um, it's a it's a riddle, you know. I, I know a lot of you work on the Forest Fen treasure hunt. This is a good sort of thing to do on the side. Um, so I recommend if you either know someone in the Grand Rapids, Michigan area, or if you are in the Grand Rapids, Michigan area, check out this treasure hunt. It's read and seek. Uh, he also has a post on Jenny's site. Um, man, I'm I'm there all the time. <laughs> Jenny's site, you know, it's like right at the top of my thing. Mysterious writings, my goodness. <laughs> Mysterious writings. Looks like fun, says Stark Willow. 
Hey, Sweetie's in here too. I think Sweetie wants to participate on Words on Stream. So Words on Stream, we're going to be doing a couple riddles today. And uh, I did a little test yesterday at Words on Stream where it's a it's a little puzzle and then you put in the word in the chat. And we'll be doing that uh, after we do a couple of riddles to start off. I want to thank everybody for coming in today. And let's get started. We're going to start with my favorite website, which is Riddlelot. And we'll see what the cover or the front page riddle is. Words on stream. Sassy's excited. <laughs> Who's going to get all the cookies to Stark Willow? Welcome, Stark Willow. All right. Our first riddle is a bug's father's brother's wife. And those are all parentheses S. Make it a little bit bigger. A bug's father's brother's wife. And it's only three characters long. Sassy says Ant, Jimmy Fest says Ant, Alan K says Ant. I was thinking Ant as a word, sort of a word play kind of thing. And that's the answer. All right, who got it first? Looks like Sassy got it first. Cookie for Sassy. All right, we'll do another one here on RiddleWatt. RiddleWatt, these are generally user-created riddles. This is my favorite riddle website. And... It's my favorite one. It's a, generally, they do not have riddles that you can just sort of look up and find the answer that way. All right, let's look at this one. All right, 11 characters long. Even when blinded, it can always see itself, can persist and never age, can age and never change, can change and never move, yet changes as it moves. Everyone take a Xanax before that part gets started, says Willie. <laughs> I know this. It The, the game just keeps going. It's, it is a little bit stressful. I've, I've played it before with, some, with a Twitch streamer who was doing it. But these are, these are our famous riddles. Don't have to take a Xanax quite yet. <laughs> 11 characters long. Davio has weather, W-E-A-T-H-E-R. All right. Maybe it's weather something, Davio, because it doesn't quite have. We're looking. It's got 11 characters. Reflections, says Huli. Uh, reflections is not the answer. I'll repeat the riddle again. That's the right number of letters, at least. Even when blinded, it can always see itself can persist and never age, can age and never change, can change and never move, yet changes as it moves. Not sure. It's not reflections. Weather storm. Weather storm. Not quite enough. Would you like me to try lightnings? No. No? Sure. Sure, she says. Okay. I, I had to add an S to it. Oh, okay. No, it didn't work. Stavio says snow blizzard. Okay. Stavio's got his uh, forest fen... <laughs> on the brain, on the brain. I mean, I can't, I can't talk. Snow blizzard, not quite a, too many lizards. Snowstorm. Snowstorm is not enough letters. It's eleven letters long. Even when blinded, it can always see itself. Can persist and never age. Can age and never change can change and never move, yet changes as it moves. Is it something existential like universe? No, universe isn't even long enough. Tony Reese says Snowden. That's only four or seven letters. All right, I think he's using Snowden. You want to say wine. 
even when blinded, it can always see itself, can persist and never age, can age and never change. Yeah, you're thinking the age. I can see that, Sassy. I know. I know, Tony Reese. It's all good. <laughs> can change and never move, yet changes as it moves. Let's look at some of the answers that other people have put in. Photographs, photo shoots, photo albums. These are incorrect guesses. Reflections, perceptions, photography, persistence, composition, point of view. Silver Fox says imagination, imagination, imagination. Oh, man, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Lori James, oh, wait, Sassy has conscious, conscientious. Conscientiouses, C O N S C I E N C E S. Lori James has light beam, L I G H T B A M. Not quite enough letters. Um, Huli has photographs. It's not photographs. Alan K has calculation. Calculation is the right number of letters. Sassy has moonlight. Moonlight is not enough letters. All right, I'm going to go to... Uh, I'll read it one more time. Even when blinded, it can always see itself. Can persist and never age. Can age and never change. Can change and never move, yet changes as it moves. I'm going to see if I can get the first letter. Revealing the first letter costs 50 coins. That's fine. First letter is a P. First letter is a P. Bronchitis? It's not me. If you're asking about no, is it bronchitis, it starts with a P. Precipitation says Jazzy. Uh, jazzy, sassy, precip, precipitation, precipitation, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Precipitation is too many words, too many le letters. Perception, says Stark Willow. Perception. Enter. Enter. Submit answer. Refresh. Try it again. Perception. Submit answer. Your answer is too short. Perceptions. Perceptions is not the answer. Perspective. Perspective. It's the right number of letters. Perspective. Good job, Alan K. Wow. Cookie for Alan K. I gotta I have to read the riddle again. Even when blinded. It can always see itself, can persist and never age, can age and never change, can change and never move, yet changes as it moves. Perspective. Wow. Hmm. That was a good one. It was a hard one, too. That's a little cookie, but I'm far away. <laughs> All right, Alan Kay, good job. We will do one more, one more riddle. And then we will do words on stream. All right, four characters, so it's a four-letter word. With me, you can track time. 
though whether you are keeping or losing it depends on if I'm caged or in the wild. Silver Fox likes those tough riddles. All right, that's why we like that's why we like Riddle Watt. Usually they're unique. <laughs> With me, and we're looking for a four letter word. With me, you can track time, though whether you are keeping or losing it depends on if I'm caged or in the wild. With me, you can track time, though whether you are keeping time or losing time depends on if I'm caged or in the wild. All right, I see dial. It's not dial. I see sand. Sand. Okay, I see where you're going with that. Sand is the correct answer. Wow. With me, you can track time, though whether you are keeping it or losing it depends if I'm caged or in the wild. So it's an hourglass. Oh, that's a good riddle. With me, you can track time, though whether you are keeping or losing it Depends on if I'm caged or in the wild. That's nice. That's a nice riddle with a nice answer. Good job, Alan Kay. World Sand Project. <laughs> I watched World Sand Project too. I like I like that show. Sand Hourglass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. All right. Here we go. Words on stream. So we, we had a test yesterday to see how it would work. In order to do words on stream, you have to type your word into the chat. The words will be at least four letters long, and it's kind of like Boggle. There'll be like seven or eight letters, and you try to come up with the words. Uh, whoever comes up with the words first will be shown. The words that are correct will be there, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Let's have some fun. I will see exclamation point start in the chat. That should get it started. All right, here we go. Put your words into the chat. All right, looks like it's six letters to start off. I see spit. Oh, Alan Kay got the six letter word, pigsty. So that would also be tips. Tony Rusi got tipsy. Pigs. Hmm. Uh, another thing to know to help you, the words, like all the four letter words will be in alphabetical order. So you can pretty much guess that it'll begin with a T or a Y, whatever that last four letter word. So you can use that information that the same number of letters will be in alphabetical order. Just, mm-hmm. So for example, that second one, we, we can guarantee it's a it starts with a G, whatever it is. Oh, Huli got it, G-I-T-S, gets. Oh, pity is the last one, pity, P-I-T-Y. There we go. Well, that's it. That's all there is to it. You just type in the words, and then we we move on. Well, we had six different people get words that time. Nice. In order to continue, exclamation part, continue. This seems to be the hardest part for me is to type continue. <clears throat> all right, well. Try the wheel, says Silver Fox. <laughs> and I bet the other one is... There are no three-letter words. All the words are at least four letters long. Last 
pass he got Fowler nice Hmm, let's see. Oh, Alan K got that one. I was looking for that one that began with an F. Or I guess it could have been began with an E, too. Uh, oh, I think I got that one. R-O-L-E, roll. I don't know what that other five letter word is. Oh, Sassy got it. Roll. R O W. Okay. We're going to take a breath. Take a breath. I'm going to look up uh, some of these words. I don't know. R O W. Roll. Definition. A roll. A spiked. Revolving disc at the end of a spur. Oh, verb to use a roll to urge on a horse. Oh, okay. So that little spike disc at the end of a spur on cowboy boots is called a roll. Yeah, I'm wondering what a roll is too. Hey, thanks for coming, Alan Kay. At, you know, in uh, bottom of the hour, it's the hint of riches. Don't forget to see hint of riches. But that's what a roll is. Okay, that's cool. Hee haw. <laughs> Fist full of dollars. All right. All right, we'll continue. I might take a couple of breaks like this because otherwise this game can, can really, you know, we get wrapped up into this game. Actual horsewoman. They are on English spurs. They are on English spurs. Not a spur, but a knob. Okay. We're learning new words, you know. This is this is part of the thing. It'll help us. All right, next game. Hmm. Huli knocks it. <laughs> Huli got it. The seven letter word. Knocker. Wow. Hmm. Good job. Tony Reese got reckon. Hopefully, don't forget to do knock also. Oh, sweetie got one. Good job, sweetie. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can participate with some more here. No. No. Oh, we got enough for the next level. E-O-K-E-R? I don't know. C-O-N-K. Kino. Nice. Crone. K-R-O-N-E. Both with a K and with a C. Crone. Crone. Hmm. Interesting. All right, level seven. Exclamation part. Continue. Next game. Only six letters. I can see cash. C A S H. Yeah. 
again, yeah. Chaos, that's a good word. But I'm trying to figure out what, what the six letter word is. Oh, Sassy got it. Not shows. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, all we need is at least one more four letter word. Oh, somebody got one. Maybe Nosh? Nosh is one. Okay, good. I participated. <laughs> Cons, all right. Three letter word and then, right? Three letter words but ends in an S. Nice. Would it be H A N S? Nope. H O N S? All right, well, it looks like we moved on enough. Kosh, oh, there's an old term right there, Kosh. Sassy got it right there at the end. Looks like we skipped some levels, too. Kosh, okay. Well, I'll, I think it's an old term to, like, um, uh, I've heard it in my, it's like when you knock someone out with like a, a blackjack, one of those leather things and you knock, knock them in the head, it's called coshing. I'll look it up though. Kosh definition. It's a thick, heavy stick or bar used as a weapon, a bludgeon. So you hit someone with a kosh. So a kosh, a kosh is a type of weapon to knock them over the head with. It says either a heavy stick or a bar used as a weapon. It is not a common term. What's that? A billy club. A billy club, says, says uh, Sweetie. <laughs> you thought it was a game? Kosh? Okay. We're, we're trying to not only have fun, we're trying to learn just a little bit. We like to learn a little bit here, too. All right, we'll move on to the next game. Contin, if I could have ever spell it the first time. <laughs> Koshopoly. <laughs> Just through combination letters. Hey, it's all good, Stark Willow. It's all good. Mm. Well, I see fold and folder. Oops, Sassy got folder before me. Oh, and we have a fake letter. Okay, so X is the fake letter. Do not make any words with X. Okay, I forgot to mention, at these higher levels, they'll have fake letters. So ignore the X. Ignore the X. Somebody got Ford already. Oh, Sassy got refold. Should be L O D E load lore L O R E. So ignore the X. Do not make words with the letter X. X is a fake letter. Let somebody got fled already. No. Oh, Tony Rusi. Oh, Stark Willow got one too. Redo. Nice. Roll. Let's roll forward. Hmm. 
Good job, everyone. Oh, we're going to skip two levels. All right, so that means we're going to have more, more fake letters. There's going to be a letter out there that's not going to count. To make it, this, it, the levels get harder and harder the higher up we go. But we will continue. <clears throat> Did I spell it wrong? No, I spelled it right. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I see Bahark, sir. Let's see if that's a real one or not. It, okay, all those letters are real. Boxers, plural. All right, so the fake letter is T. Do not use the letter T. T is the fake letter. Oh, Sassy got that. <laughs> I see to okay. Don't use the letter T. T is the fake letter. T is the fake letter. Wow, you guys did well with the large letters. We only got one five-letter word and all four-letter word left. Left. Four-letter words remain. How about... I keep wanting to use that T. <laughs> I know, me too, Stark Willow. I just, and I said that just that I saw that. I so much want to use that T. Orbs. Oh, Sassy got orbs. Wow, Sassy and Lori James helped us out right at the end there. Yep, no, no three-letter words. Oh, Stark Willow got one. Bros, nice. <clears throat> Good job, everyone. We will keep going. Continue. <laughs> Sorry, you said the T. I I mentally did a lot of T's. Wow, look at all the people. Nine people have participated. Five people got this. Wow. I want to thank everybody for playing today. This is a fun little game. We will continue. Again, we have a fake letter. We have to figure out what the fake letter is. Hmm. Stark Willow got the the, the letter. So, what one is the fake one? The fake one is S. All right, so don't use the letter S. S is the fake letter. P-O-L-E. Do not use the letter S. S is the fake letter. S is the fake letter. Nope. Sassy got it open. Nice. Open was the last one Sassy got. Good job. It's a fun little game, right? 
Up next, level 17. I think this is our highest we'll ever been before. Continue. <clears throat> we will keep going. All right, for the first time, first time, we've got a fake letter and a hidden letter. There's a hidden letter and a fake letter. Oh, my goodness. So the question mark is a letter. We just don't know what it is. And that will make it difficult to get the six-letter answer. All right, I think the letter F is the fake letter. I believe F is the fake letter. Let me see if it's just Jimmy Fast got pilot. Let me see if just pilots is the Oh, O is the mystery letter. O is the mystery letter. So there's an O in there. So O is the mystery letter and F is the letter you can't use. Sassy, nice, polite. Ah, uh, yeah, we didn't quite get the goal that time. <clears throat> Sorry, it's it's we're just here for some fun, and I like to thank everybody again for participating. This is a fun little game. You get to participate in the chat, and you can see who gets first and whatnot. <laughs> All right, we will restart again. I have a feeling this next game will be a long one, too. We will restart from the beginning. This will probably take us up to the top of the hour. There is another six letter word. I got temple, but there's another six letter word. And if you need to take a break, this is a good time to take a break <laughs> because it could be really intense. <laughs> You're really focused on these letters. <clears throat> Pelmet. Helmet. Is it M E T E? Yes, there it is. All right, I need to look up another one. What is it? What is a pelmet? All right, we're taking a break. Pelmet. A pelmet is a narrow border of cloth or wood fitted across the top of a door or window to conceal the curtain fittings. Pelmet is on a curtain, says that. Oh, okay. It's on a curtain valance. A pelmet. I had never heard that before. It's a new word for me. All right, we will continue. Con, tin, 
you. Hmm. It originated in heraldry. Okay. All right, I got the six letter words. Oh, Tony Rizzi, I was just going to do that one. Tony Rusi just got that one too. <laughs> so it either begins with a B or a D, that last letter, that last word, I should say. Either a B or. Okay, never mind. It says he got a Duke. Good job. All right. We will. Exclamation part couldn't in you. Hmm. Oh, I see sewer. Maybe skewer. Good. All right, so I got the six letter word. Here. Oh, well, we got that one. Yeah, the plural form works for some of these. Maybe you can come up with a three letter word, no? And then just add a S to the end. Eeks, that's a good word. Use. Added an S to, to someone that Sassy got. Weird. W E E R. Hmm. All right, I'm taking another break. What is a W E E R W E E R? It's a comparative adjective of we, meaning little. Scottish adjective we're. All right. <laughs> you can hear sound. There are there are sound effects, and there's all. Is the sound effects are they too loud? Or are they distracting? I can turn the sound effects off, Sassy. Let me know. And, if it, and there's music involved in the game, too. I turned off the music, but there are sound effects. You can't hear sound. Hmm. Can't hear sound. You should be able to hear my voice. My voice is okay. Uh-oh. All right, let me see. Mm, let's see. Excellent connection. I should be okay. Sounds okay. All right. All right, just refresh your stream, Sassy. Refresh the stream. Sounds fine, says Tony. Okay, okay. 
We will continue. Continue. Let's find some more words. <laughs> it's all right, Sassy. Just play the game. You're all right. I'll give you a thumbs up. Digest. Nice job, Stark Willow. Nice. Tides and diets. Nice job, Sassy. I know you can't hear me, but it's not a nice job. A lot of words. Mm. Oh, someone got one right at the end there. I missed it. Continue, exclamation part, continue. It looks like, all right, we have a fake letter now. You have sound now? All right, good. Uh, the fake letter is A. Do not use the letter A. A is the fake letter. A is the fake letter. Do not use A. Mover. Nice. Wow, we only got one word left already. Begins with either an E M or an E. Oh, Sassy got it. Mir, M E R E. Nice one. Continue. All right, we're going to have another fake letter. There will be a fake letter and then it's next one. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Okay, I is the fake letter. I is the fake letter. Do not use the letter I. Hmm. 
Yep, Dark Willow got it too. No I. There's no I. I is the fake letter. Framer. Nice. Sassy helps us out right at the end there. Armor. Hmm. Oh, but Sassy got another one. Rearm. Oof. Right at the last moment. All right, take a breath. We take a break just for a few a minute or so, because I don't think we're gonna be able to play another one after this one. So I'm just we're just gonna take a moment. Say again, thank everybody for participating today. Prittle Mondays. Um, when we're done with words on stream today, be sure to check out the hint of riches. The hint of riches. We got gotta go cook. All right. Thank you, Lori Chance, for stopping by. The hint of riches is coming up in about ten minutes. Uh, they they've got another clip from Forrest Fenn that's not gonna be in their documentary. So be sure to check out the hint of riches at the top of the hour. We will continue. Sassy loves this game. I love this game too. <laughs> hey, Chief Rules. All right. Thanks, Tony Rusi. Appreciate it. All right. There's one fake letter. There are two eyes? No. Oh, Sassy got one. Conduit. All right. F is the fake letter. Do not use the letter F. F is the fake letter. Conduit. Ow. Do not use the letter F. Oh, Sassy got one. I'll repeat your, this is one of Sassy's. Sassy head count. F is the fake letter. Yeah, we had a tough time on that one. Tunics. That's a good word that Sassy got right at the end. All right, I'm not going to have enough time to, to play another words on stream. <laughs> Addiction. All right. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, that'll be the end of Pretty Mondays today. And again, the Hint of Riches comes up at the top of the hour. Check out the Hint of Riches. I want to wish everybody to have a good Monday. Have a good rest of the week. And Prittle Monday, and hopefully my voice will come back and my, my cold will be gone. I'm feeling better, even better since yesterday. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for, for joining in on Prittle Monday, and I'll see everybody next week. <laughs>